here is a walsh correlation diagram what does it mean it is a just the variation of energies of respective orbitals with change in bond angle as bond angle changes interaction changes consequently energetic changes graphical presentation of variation in energy with change in bond angle is none other than walsh correlation let us understand it one by one in this picture left side interactions between few wave functions is represented by sky blue color positive phase is represented and by dark blue color negative phase is represented at extreme left side bottom portion one sigma orbital is represented all have positive wave function central hydrogen also is with positive wave function and our psi1 group both have the positive wave functions so all were proper interaction so strong interaction attraction so one sigma orbital is of low energy now come to the next level diagram that's a two sigma orbital it's actually non bonding orbital it is our group orbital it is our non symmetric group orbital it is our psi2 group orbital one of the hydrogen has wave function positive and other has negative but they are far away so there is a no attraction there is no repulsion so we consider it as non bonding so energy of two sigma orbital is little higher than that of the one sigma orbital its energy is equal to the energy of hydrogen atom hydrogen oneness orbital now come to the upper diagram that's a three sigma orbital repulsion should be there central atom is with negative wave function and group orbitals psi1 group both should be the same wave function here they are positive so from left side hydrogen to central hydrogen repulsion central hydrogen to right side hydrogen repulsion actually two nodal planes are there for two sigma one nodal plane is there and one sigma zero or no nodal plane zero one two increasing number increasing energy that's the right understanding of energetics of linear h3 molecule one sigma two sigma three sigma that's increasing order of the energy now come to the well kind of the diagram they are 180 degree separation 180 degree bond angle linear polynuclear molecule for that energetics is represented and proper labeling also given there one sigma two sigma three sigma now how the energy will change with change in bond angle that we are showing by red coloration before that come to the right side diagrams right side pictorial presentations of various molecular orbitals in that three diagrams are shown in that first represents a set where attraction three attractions are there so sky blue color central hydrogen periple hydrogen central hydrogen and group orbital all have the same wave function so three attraction more attraction more stability and that orbital is only one therefore representation is a let us discuss about this a previously this orbital was called as one sigma orbital in linear case if 180 degree would have been separation that is one sigma when bond angle separation remains 60 degree it becomes a reason i given to you sigma is a symmetric representation where bond axis is considered here bond axis why we can't consider no because triangular shape is there in case of one sigma two attractions are there left attracts to central and central atom attracts to right so only two attractions but in case of a orbital three attractions are there 
attractions have increased and because of increase in attraction energy will increase or decrease certainly decrease therefore energy of a is lower than that of the one sigma so variation or the curve or red curve red energetics is nothing but the correlation for one sigma orbital in linear molecule and the triangular molecule for linear molecule label is one sigma and for triangular label is a now come to the other two diagrams that's a doublet here previously what psi2 group was there but because of triangular shape those two wave function come closer one is positive other is negative repulsion and because of repulsion energy of that orbital psi2 group will be higher than that of the energy of 1s orbital of the hydrogen there is one repulsion and extreme right side their central atom is with negative wave function and our psi1 group is there where both have the same sign positive positive left side sky blue atom and central atom there is a repulsion between sky blue right side atom and the central repulsion but between the group orbitals there is attraction so two repulsions one attraction net result one repulsion as was there in previous diagram therefore those two orbitals have the same energy those two orbitals represent doublet and for doublet our term is e means actually that e is made from two sigma of linear structure and three sigma of linear structure non bonding two sigma orbital and anti bonding three sigma orbital from that it is correlated and correlance in is in such a way that energy levels are same now one by one come to two sigma orbital in linear case considerable separation was there in positive and negative phase that's a group orbital in case of triangular arrangement those two orbitals those two wave functions those two phases come closer if two opposite phases come closer there will be attraction repulsion repulsion therefore energy of two sigma orbital will increase increase and it is increased and it is merged in what the e level now think about three sigma orbital in case of three sigma orbital two repulsions were there previously in triangular arrangement what are the peripheral group orbitals are there psi1 group orbitals are there they will come closer because we are converting we are changing from 180 degree separation 180 degree bond angle to triangular structure to 60 degree separation so group orbitals will come closer because of their closeness attraction will be there so that attraction was not there in 3 sigma but because of triangular arrangement attraction is developed attraction is added now tell me if attraction is added there then relatively energy will decrease or increase yes it will decrease therefore three sigma orbital decreases in energy increase in energy of two sigma and decrease in energy of three sigma are to such an extent that doublet is formed this two sigma and three sigma orbital converts to one new label new nomenclature new name that is e it is used for non axial molecules non axial arrangement triangular arrangement so the variation in energies of one sigma two sigma and three sigma while moving from 180 degree separation to 60 degree separation and merging or converting to a and e that variation is called as a walsh correlation for linear h3 and triangular h3 plus important point is why h3 is linear and why h3 plus is triangular for that you should know electronic configuration electron distribution let me show the electron distribution there now let us discuss why h3 is linear see the electronic configuration in one sigma orbital two electrons and in two sigma orbital which is non bonding orbital only one electron what is bond order 
because of two electrons in one sigma orbital. Suppose if those three electrons we need to distribute in triangular arrangement, the arrangement as is for H3 plus, then what will happen? Two electrons will be there in A and one electron will be in E set. What is the nature of E? It is anti-bonding nature. Repulsion is there. So, electrons existing in E, will they support for bonding or will oppose? Will oppose for bonding. So, if we have to find the bond order, then bond order will be half. Bond order will decrease. Bond strength will decrease. Separation will increase. Stability will increase or decrease. Stability also will decrease. Then why H3 will prefer triangular arrangement? Because it is happy in linear arrangement. Most stable arrangement is there for H3. That's a linear way. Therefore, H3 is linear. So is the answer for the question clear? Why H3 is linear? So, let us hunt for the second question. Why H3 plus is triangular? In case, if it could have been linear, what will happen? See here. In triangular arrangement, in H3 plus, only two electrons are there. And those are in A orbital. If it would have been linear, where will those electrons be? Yes, those electrons will be in one sigma orbital. Let us see whether there will be change in bond order. In triangular arrangement, bond order is one because of those two electrons. And in linear arrangement also, bond order would have been one because of the two electrons in one sigma orbital. So, bond order is not going to make any change. But energetics variation is there. If you read carefully, energy of A is lower than that of 1 sigma. If H3 plus would have been linear, then electrons will enter in higher energy level 1 sigma orbital. And always every species wants stability, satisfaction, low energy and that purpose is served in triangular arrangement. Since A orbital is considerably low energy than 1 sigma, the H3 plus which has only two electrons will prefer triangular arrangement. As the bond angle decreases, slowly, slowly energy decreases and at last at 60 degree equal separation is there. Equilibrium in bond angles is there and therefore 60 degree is achieved. One may be with the question, why not 30 degree? See 30 degree, how can you get the symmetric arrangement? The overlapping interaction should be what? Appreciably. If you consider 30 degree, 30 degree one where when you consider other where bond angle will be more. So considering 30 degree you will get the good attraction but other bond angles suppose if I consider isosceles triangle then the separation will be 75 and 75 degree. It is larger. So 60 degree is a equilibrium. 60 degree is a symmetric. 60 degree is a proper bond angle. Therefore we have restricted our discussion to 60 degree. If H3 plus would have been the linear, then it will be unstable because electrons will enter in the higher level 1 sigma. No doubt it is a bonding orbital, but the energy is higher. So, stability will be less. Therefore, H3 plus is triangular. So in general way, if I have to say, if many number of electrons are there, then the linear arrangement will be preferred. If less number of electrons are there, then triangular arrangement will be preferred. More correctly, if only two electrons are there, then certainly triangular arrangement is the best option. And if electrons are three or four, then linear is the only best arrangement. Even electrons increases further, then also linear will be the way. Conclusion here is, because of triangular arrangement, considerable stability H3 plus governs. And to your surprise, H3 plus is more stable than H2. Because in H2, simple only one attraction will be there to form bonding orbital. Here three attractions are there and therefore H3 plus is more stable than that of the H2. It is additional information that I provided during discussing Walsh diagram.
So, is the Walsh diagram for the linear H3 and triangular H3 plus clear and stabilities of H3 and H3 plus? That's the beauty of Walsh correlation. Stability can be properly explained. Yes, student, as a homework, one simple question, only one question. Define Walsh correlation. Go through literature, get definition. Shortly, write that definition as an answer in comment box. I am waiting for your answer. So now from this Walsh correlation, the concept will be clear to you. Let us consider H3 linear and forming H3 triangular. In H3 linear, one electron in two sigma non-bonding orbital is there. When it forms triangular arrangement, two sigma increases in energy. So that will become anti-bonding. Anti-bonding characteristics will increase in the two sigma orbital and that will affect the bond strength, that will affect the bond order. Therefore, H3 is not triangular. But if you think about H3+, plus, there is no electron in two sigma. But electrons which are in one sigma, their energy decreases. So molecule becomes more stable. So opposition is not there, but assistant is there. Therefore, H3 plus is triangular. So this is Wall's correlation diagram and energetics will help us to understand real molecules and the species. Let us understand in next lecture, other polyatomic molecule, beryllium dihydride.